Hello everyone, it's Charlton, and this story that I just saw is, um, it's, it's just completely unthinkable um, how it happened, and it seems to stem from, uh, from mental illness or um, depression with a man who allegedly drove, uh, rammed an SUV into a restaurant killing his own daughter and daughter-in-law as they were dining inside, and he was in there with them before this happened. They all went to like late lunch, uh, brunch, um, I think at noon, uh, just today, Sunday. Um, they all went in together. He excused himself. I think they thought he went to the restroom, and he um, allegedly, you know, left the left the restaurant, went out to the parking lot, and got got into his car and drove it straight into the rest, restaurant, right into his own family. His uh, so his daughter, his wife was there, his granddaughter and his son and his daughter-in-law and uh, uh, I believe uh, the rest of the people injured are going to recover but his daughter pictured there who's also he's an he's a former police officer he's an ex-cop I think for the Gaston County Sheriff's Office I'm not certain of that but his daughter was a deputy for Gaston County Sheriff's Office I'm almost certain Caitlin Self and um, she has died, and his daughter-in-law, Amanda Self, his son's wife, um, died as well, Amanda Self. Investigators said 62-year-old Roger Self, Caitlin's uh, father, reportedly Amanda's father-in-law, drove right into the restaurant, apparently on purpose. Gaston, Gaston Gazette reported the restaurant staff claims Roger Self went with his family to the restaurant and then and had them seated. The father then allegedly went outside and purposefully uh, uh, purposely drove his Jeep into the building. Uh, they're saying in the Gaston, um, Gaston Gazette here that he in the last uh, recently had been suffering severe depression and mental illness and um, it says that friends say he had been battling depression and mental illness that left him almost unrecognizable uh, to those closest to him. Close friends said he, he began confiding in them about his condition about six months ago, but it had grown much worse over the past two months. Self would go days without getting out of bed. He became paranoid around people. He felt he was evil, friends say. He had, been he had been a shining light to what it means to love people, and then all of a sudden, about two months ago, it was like someone flipped a switch. I had never met this man, uh, Pastor Austin Rommel uh, said, and pastor, the pastor met with him just the day before for several hours uh, and spoke with him, it says here. So... Um, it says Rommel said he had spoke with Roger Self for hours on Saturday. During conversations, Self would often spin Bible verses out of context. He was seeing a psychiatrist and taking medication or medicine for, for anxiety, but was in a bad place in regards to mental health, Rommel said. He was trying to get help. We were trying to steer him towards uh, help. Ramel said his uh, Ramel said he saw self before Sunday morning services and gave his dear dear friend a thumbs a thumbs up sign. He remembers Roger self nodding back. Ironically, Josh and Amanda self were supposed to go with their children to 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 the Ramel's home Sunday night for family life home studies. And Amanda has has been as she was killed. And uh, they have a 13-year-old daughter, I believe, as well, who was there and was injured. So, um, you know, uh, he was he was arrested and and booked on two two uh, two charges of first-degree murder. Here is the uh, waiter who basically um, witnessed the entire thing. Here, I'll play that for you quickly. I know I saw a white jeep fly right past my face, and I saw tables, chairs, tubs, everything fly, and it was, it was really loud. Did you see people hurt? Yeah, I saw, there was two women that I saw, one was like 12 or 13, I'd say, and she was shaking really bad. I don't know what was wrong with her. 
she wasn't really responding to anybody. And then I saw a lady in like her 20s or 30s sitting up there. She was down underneath the table. This is Kevin L. All right, so um, like I said, that's the waiter who actually witnessed uh, witnessed it happen, and um, I think the entire community is just turned, you know, just can't believe it. Uh, obviously, it's just uh, it's just totally unthinkable. So, you know, here is uh, the restaurant. There's the father. That's uh, Roger Self, and right there. Um, so it says around 12.04 p.m. Sunday, Self family already seated in, in the Surf and Turf Lodge restaurant. Roger Self had come into the restaurant with the family before he excused himself. Family members were eating appetizers while seated together and uh, had thought Roger Self had left to use the restroom. In a flash, Self was driving through the restaurant's front door at a high rate of speed into the area where he knew his family was seated. A waiter, Brandon Wilson, who I think you just saw, said he uh, was headed to uh, the self table to see if they needed refills on their drinks at the time. I saw a white Jeep just fly right past my face. That is uh, the person who gave that uh, same voice. Another waiter said he recognized Roger Self as a regular at the uh, restaurant. He said he saw him one uh, saw him come inside the restaurant and then saw him leave. Vickers wasn't supposed to work today, but was filling in for someone who, uh, who had called out. Gaston County Sheriff Alan uh, Collinger released the following statement. Today we lost one of our own, Deputy Caitlin Self, in a tragic incident that occurred while she was not on duty. Caitlin has served the Sheriff's Office for four years and was a corporal in the jail. Our hearts are broken, and we ask for your thoughts and prayers during this difficult time, not only for Caitlin's family and friends, but also her brothers, uh, also her brothers and sisters in uniform. Self was booked into Gaston County Jail at 6.59 p.m. without bond on two counts of first-degree murder. He will make his first court appearance on Monday. If convicted uh, as charged, Self would face life in prison without parole. And that's, uh, that's, 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 that's the story there, man. Thanks for uh, watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.